So the Kansas City Royals have been around since 1969, and in those 55 seasons, they do have two World Series championships. Their first coming in 1985 when they beat the Cardinals in seven games, and their most recent coming back in 2015 when they beat the Mets in five. Since then though, it hasn't been great. The Royals have pretty much been at the bottom of the American League in almost every season. And I really want them to turn it around. I want the American League Central to be more of a competitive division. And I want the Royals to be right in the mix of that. But for today, I'm gonna use the all-time Royals in MLB The Show 23. So obviously this team's cornerstone is gonna be at third base with George Brett. He is the Royals, but there's also plenty of representation from that 2014, 2015 era, guys that helped make the World Series on the Royals, Salvador Perez, Mike Moustakis, Eric Hosmer, Alex Gordon in the outfield, along with some former Royals like Johnny Damon, Whit Merrifield, and of course, Jorge Soler, who led the AL in home runs with the Royals. And now they have their franchise cornerstone, Bobby Witt Jr. I love watching this guy play. On the bench is Raul Ibanez, Hunter Dozier, Nelson Velazquez, and Jason Kendall. And I will not be using the Eric Hosmer captain boost just because I don't have him to parallel one. And if I activate the tier one, I actually lose power against lefties. Why is that a thing? Anyway, the pitching staff is Zach Greinke, Vita Blue, Johnny Cueto, Brett Saberhagen, and Danny Duffy. And in the bullpen, I have James McArthur, Scoots Magoots, Greg Holland, Trevor Rosenthal, Joel Piamps, Chapman, Deekman and Austin Cox. And similar to Eric Hosmer, I will not be using the Greg Holland captain boost. Stop taking away my attributes. So I'll be at home against Jesus Lazardo. Let's do this, baby. I have Brett Saberhagen on the mound to get things started. He is the 1985 World Series MVP. You know, he, he was the guy when they won their first chip. So I feel like he has to get in this video and I'd rather use him as a starter, possibly an opener. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe opener. Eight pitch at bat on Ellie, three, two. That was the worst pitch I threw the whole at bat. Atta boy, Brett. I'm just gonna pretend like that slider was actually a good pitch. Not gonna lie, facing a lefty is not ideal. This team is pretty lefty heavy. We're just gonna have to make it work. Get up the middle, give me a lead off knock. Oh my God, that's Elliot short, isn't it? Is that Ellie or O'Neal? That's O'Neal. Either way, he's got two giants in the middle infield. Yeah, take that one away, O'Neal. Oh, come on, man. I can't miss that pitch. That's right there. Three, two, two outs. Let's go, Solaire. And I'm late. How? Okay, man. Those are two atrocious misses. I do have Zach Grinky and Vita Blue warming up in the bullpen right now. Yeah, just out number one. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Yo, that was kind of disgusting. When were y'all gonna tell me that Saber Hagen's actually good? Last year, I did classify the Royals as the quote unquote worst all time team though. They were definitely not great on paper. They had a decent offense, but the pitching staff was really bad. This year, I don't know if they're the worst. I would still say they're towards like, you know, the bottom third of, of all the all-time teams, but with all the cards we have this year, the Royals are definitely a lot better. I think the problem might be me. Oh, he's going to be so mad. <laughs> that was a good swing. Okay, if he starts getting comfortable against the changeup, it's a quick pull here for Saberhagen. Yeah, slide step, got the strikeout. Come on, one out away. Oh, no. Oh my God. Eric Hosmer is him. Help out your pitcher, man. Come on. Oh, I felt good about that swing too. I just didn't move the PCI enough. Take the shift out of the damn game. Okay, okay. Two out hit. We need to do something with it. And that's right to him. Awesome, man. Yep, Kaufman's a tough place to score, man. We have to be basically perfect. This really might turn into one of those games where it's first to score wins. Uh, yeah, Alex Gordon's not getting here. Okay, should just be two, but I think that's gonna be it for Brett Saberhagen. I'm not gonna push it. Willie Stargell, Mike Napoli, Kyle Tucker. Okay, I'm going Vita Blue. Bad move. 
Oh, that was quick. Oh my God. As soon as I say first to score wins, three straight hits and a run. Nice. Three, two. Good pitch. He's not going to get to third on this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. Oh, okay. All right. Getting out of that inning only allowing one is actually a W. We need to get it together, man. Come on. What? Bro, what even is that swing decision? There's never a point where that even looks like a good pitch to hit. Oh, that's just horrible. That's just going nowhere. That's honestly not a terrible swing, but... 0-2, not gonna happen. I'm trying here, boys, but I'm struggling. Plain and simple. I didn't mean to die for that. What? It didn't even seem like I pressed the right... All right, man, this is this is getting to be bad news here. I'm struggling to just put one run across the plate, and now he's, like, just threatening in back-to-back -back innings. Well, that just took forever to develop. Alex Gordon just doesn't have it. Yeah, that was, he didn't even get behind that ball, dude. What the? F Maybe I had a chance if he got behind it. I don't. He just kind of like lackadaisically caught it. Was that on me? Did I take like a bad route to it or something? Or I don't know. All I know is that Vita Blue is kind of getting cooked. I'm going Scoots Magoots. All right, we're out of the inning. I need to get Lizardo out of this game, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? On that? I'll take it. Time to add more. No. It's a change up, man. Recognize it. God damn it. All right, Solaire. Come on. Another two out hit. One swing, Mustakis. Damn it, dude. Damn it. Oh, I had a chance to, to do something big that inning. At least I got one. You want to know the annoying thing right now, though? This game is a one-run game because of a controller mishap. I didn't mean to dive for that ball in the top of the six, which let him get on base, which is why he scored on that sack fly. We're going to fight through it, though, with pitches like that. All day, Alex Gordon. All day. I do kind of miss having Lorenzo Kane on this team. He was a fun guy to have patrol center field. There it is. There it is. Easy play here at first. On to the bottom of the seventh. I, I mean, I must have just been totally late on that. Yeah, PCI wasn't great either. Damn, good pitch. Oh, I was ready for that. Don't be an out. Don't be an out. Stop. Got to keep fighting. That's not a good way to fight a pitch right over the middle. Come on. If he gets this run, I, I mean, I'm not going to say it's over because it's not. But I mean, it would feel like a lot of momentum going the other way. You know what I mean? Yep. I mean, that's, that's a hell of a swing. I thought that cutter was a decent pitch, but he was all over it, man. Got to give props. Got six outs to play with. I'm going to have to start looking at uh, matchups here. Um, I think here I'm going... I'm going to go Hunter Dozier. I know he's not amazing against lefties, but I just need a different matchup. And he might be taking out Lizardo, which honestly, at this point, I'll just take that. Yes, I would much rather face Gagne. Even if Gagne beats me, I still like this matchup better. Come on, come on. Don't dive for it. Let's go. Bro, Alex Gordon might be a hero. Come on, please, Bobby. Ooh. Dude, I was late. I 100% was late. Oh my God, that's that's pathetic. That's an awful strikeout. Now he's going to a lefty with the double play intact. I'm sticking with George Brett. Oh, Oh, okay, come on. No, no, no. I'm happy with that break, but it doesn't mean anything unless these runs come across. Um, well, that'll get one in. Man, that just kept carrying, huh? Uh, for Mike Moustakis right here, who's good against lefties? Jason Kendall does have max contact. I Honestly, I just I don't want a lefty-lefty matchup right here. You can say this is a dumb move all you want. I do not want a lefty-lefty matchup in this spot. 
and I'm under it. Oh, dude, I should have had so much more of that inning, man. That Bobby Witt strikeout really ruined everything. He cannot score this inning. I need a one, two, three, or just a zero. Nice pitch, 91 low and away. Two down. What the, f just take it to the base, Hunter. Let's go, man. Let's make a miracle happen in the bottom of the ninth. Salvador Perez, Johnny Damon, and Whit Merrifield. And we're gonna face Kenley. Oh, if, is this an out? Oh, Salvi! I did not think that had carry. Oh, it's time to win this game. No, 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 and yep, that's not going anywhere. I'm going to extras with the all-time Royals. Dude, the crazy thing about this game is this is basically like identical on both sides. Look at the box score. We both have three runs on nine hits with one error and seven left on. Uh, you know why that really sucks? It's because he got two ridiculous foul balls in that at bat. Um, can we not do this? Ooh, that's a phenomenal pitch. He's not scoring on this. Three pitch strikeout. Chapman did his job. I think I got to go Nelson Velazquez right here. I just got to get that righty lefty matchup. Fair. Oh, what? That wasn't fair. Did this not go over the corner of the bag? Oh my god! <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? Bobby Witt Jr. has three perfect swings and only one hit. Nah, man, I got absolutely cheated that inning. Oh my God. How does Bobby Witt Jr. not get rewarded more for that swing? Of course the ball is foul by literally a toenail. Either way, I should have done more in the bottom of the eighth when I had bases loaded one out. GG's, rough loss there, man. God, that sucks.